I have this small PC board with electronics packaging imaged by X-ray laminography. And when I rotate it and look at the planar slices, I can see the features on the different planes. But uh, even when I do my best job of aligning it, I don't get a sharp image across the full width of the plane. And that's because while the virtual plane is perfectly planar, the sample itself may be distorted or warped or bent. And so we'll have to use an unwarping solution to give us a non-planar view. We can do that by choosing any two-dimensional view and starting with the annotate rectangle. Here I can just define an initial rectangle on some 2D plane. And once you have that region, you can right click and ask for a radial basis surface function. This object itself is going to create a, a non-planar, a non-planar distortable plane. So what we have here is our initial 2D view, and we can see where this uh, visual RBF rectangle is positioned in 3D space. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the lower left-hand view, and I'm gonna go to view mode and tell it I wanna see the non-planar view for this. Um, now, just to sync this up, I'm gonna uh, just ask for a horizontal flip. So this is the view after corrections, and so what I have on screen are these nine control points, and I can position any one of them by holding down the control and dragging the mouse up or down. Now, if I drag it a very big distance, you can see what's happening. It's like a trampoline and you're pushing on it. So you can push or pull until you increase the sharpness of the plane you're trying to inspect. So we can make adjustments. We can come over here and make adjustments where it's uh, not very sharp. And uh, again, you're just dragging up or down to increase the sharpness. And you can end up making a, a much sharper view than you start with and uh, enough that you could then segment and get a high quality robust segmentation uh, of the copper trace of the board. Now it's already better than it was when I started. You can compare. But what I can do is I can also right click on it and I can ask to resample or redistribute the control points. So if I tell it I want a five by five grid instead, now I have additional control points. So now I can still push on the trampoline, but I've got more positions I can go to push or pull to correct those distortions. Now, this gives me uh, this view. Let me just adjust the brightness and contrast a little bit. Um, and this gives me a good way uh, of correcting and getting sharpness for those features that may be slightly out of plane because they're warped or bent in the object that I've imaged. Now, something else I can do is I can actually move this visual RBF rectangle. So if I grab the move tool, um, you don't see it right here, but it's, it's positioned on one plane. So if I start dragging it up or down, we're dragging through, uh, through the data set. So I could go to another plane and then tune on that plane. So if I drag this up or down to try and get uh, just the right slice, and in this it has maybe some different warping, then I could go through and I could uh, adjust the control points uh, here to get a de-warping. Or for that matter, as I mentioned, I could add more control points. So you have this ability to create these visual RBF rectangles, and then you have the ability to tune them or uh, uh, refine them with, with, more, uh, uh, with more control points. Now, besides uh, doing this for visualization, you can also export the resampled plane as a separate 2D image. So all you have to do is go and right click uh, on the visual RBF and ask for extract projection of a structured grid, which could be either the image or its segmentation. So now I have a, a single 2D image slice that is this with these corrections. I should also note that you can segment in this space. So if I have my initial CT scan and I create a region of interest, so I'll call this copper trace and I'll give it some color and now I can uh, come down here and I can use the ROI painter tool. So I'll choose a, a multi-slice uh, local Otsu and tell it I want to pick uh, the brighter pixels here and I can start uh, painting this. Now I'm painting in the non-planar view, 
but you will see the paint appear on, on the cross section because it's actually mapping it back to the original three-dimensional uh, Cartesian coordinate system. So you have this flexibility to uh, distort and then to paint or edit in that distorted plane. That sums up most of the features of the non-planar view, uh, which we call the visual RBF rectangle.